This is Mrs. Scheller's Physics Project by Faith, Desiree, Kayla, and Alyssa. Isaac Newton's First Law of Motion An object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion unless acted on by an outside force. This is Isaac Newton's First Law of Motion. For materials, you'll need a toilet paper roll, a pie pan, glass, food coloring is optional, and some eggs. <laughs> and some water. Newton said that objects in motion want to keep moving and objects that are stationary want to stay still, unless an outside force acts on them. So since the egg is not moving while it sits on top of the tube, that's what it wants to do, not move. You applied enough force to the pipe to cause it to zip out from under the cardboard tube. I'll demonstrate again. The edge of the pie pan hooked the bottom of the tube, which then sailed off the pan. Basically, you knocked the support out from under the egg for a brief nanosecond or so. The egg didn't move because it was already stationary, not moving. But then, as usual, the force of gravity took over and pulled the egg straight down toward the center of the earth. Gay Lussac's Ideal Gas Law. An ideal gas law is where at constant volume, the pressure of an ideal gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Okay. Gay-Lussac's ideal gas law equation is P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. P1 is initial pressure, T1 is initial absolute temp, P2 is final pressure, and T2 is final absolute temp. Um, in the equation, they're going to equal each other. This is an experiment to show an example of Gay-Lussac's idea of gas law. For this experiment, you need a clear casserole dish, a candle, a jar big enough to fit over the candle, a lighter, food coloring, and water. Gay-Lussac's law is an ideal gas law where, at constant volume, the pressure of an ideal gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. Water entered the beakers as a result of not only a decrease in temperature as the flames went out, but also a decrease in pressure inside of the beaker. The decrease in pressure inside of the beakers allowed the atmospheric pressure, which is the pressure outside of the beakers, to be greater. The greater atmospheric pressure pushed the water outside of the beakers into the beaker. Boyle's Law a gas law stating that the pressure and volume of a gas have an inverse relationship when temperature is kept constant. In Boyle's ideal gas law, P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. P1 equals initial pressure. V1 equals initial volume. P2 equals final pressure and V2 equals final volume. This is an experiment demonstrating Boyle's Law. For this experiment, you'll need three film canisters, paint, a poster board, Alka-Seltzer tablets, and safety goggles. <laughs> Pour some paint into a film canister. Alka-Seltzer tablet and then put the lid on and shake it well. And now you wait until they explode. Stop it! Why? Because it's going to explode. No, it's not. Five, it looks like it. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Shh. 
Shake him. <laughs> Keep going. Over there somewhere. Wait, it splattered over here. <laughs> it shot and hit me. What the heck? <laughs> okay, trial two. How much pain are you putting in it? Not too much. No oh, more than that. I just did enough to cover the bottom. Maybe a little bit more than that. I think that's good. Okay. That's good. Okay. You ready? Uh -huh. Long time. Everybody. No, I was <laughs> trying to scare that your dog. I told you I was gonna hit the ceiling. Yeah, it's not gonna explode. Just hit the table. That's what it's supposed to look like, too. In this experiment, <laughs> we're going to <laughs> gonna cook some dog. <laughs> this equation is for Avocado's Law. Um, Desiree, I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I restart? No, no! <laughs> no. It's okay, it's okay, just keep going. <laughs> no, just keep going. You are hundred, so that mean you meet my status, baby. I got a lot of hoes more than I can handle, baby. And I can't even lie, shout you, my kind of lady. And now one hundred, baby, just keep it a hundred, baby. Just keep it a hundred, baby. Yeah.